Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are most welcome, all our viewers and listeners, in today's Bible study, the Thursday, 21st May, the year 2020, our year of expansion. And we are looking forward towards, we are looking forward at studying the Word of God together, and we know that we're going to be blessed because the Word of God is life itself. Amen. We greet you all in the name of Jesus, our Lord, and thank you for liking and following us as CCI on our Facebook and subscribing on our YouTube channel. And we believe that you are being blessed by all our broadcasts. Continue, and uh, we do really appreciate you and thank God for your lives. And um, let us keep together so that the Lord can fulfill his divine purpose in us and through us in, this, in his kingdom. Amen. We are a Cahill generation, and uh, we are here just to manifest his love and his will on earth. Amen. Let us share our prayer as we prepare ourselves to go into the word. Father, we want to thank you and we bless you for such a time that we are connected together to dig deep into your word and to study your precious word. Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. We invite you to come and teach us and reveal the mystery of the word of God to us. Let us be focused on what you are saying to us this afternoon and teaching us that we may catch it and run with it to the glory of your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yes, as um, I shared last Thursday, the 14th of May, we had a wonderful Bible study, and uh, we shared a very powerful word, and the topic of which we are, we say that we are important. I want to continue in that area, and in that topic that we are important before our Father in heaven. And in summary, we learnt the things below. I'm going to recap them and then we will go forward. We learn that we are important in our, father's, in our Father's eyes in heaven, no matter what we have done or whatever situation we are in. Number two was our Father is on our cases because we are important before him. Number three was because we are important, he will leave the 99 and after the, come after the one which is lost. And number four, which I want us to study today and continue, expound on it, is because we are important, God is more than ready. Because we are important, God is more than ready to fulfill his purpose concerning us and his kingdom. This is the, this is the one I want us to expound on, study it, look through some scriptures which will assure that because we are important before our Father in heaven, he's more than ready to fulfill his purpose and his will concerning you and me and his kingdom on this earth. And we shall look at a few personalities in the Bible who show how God, how heaven, how the Trinity will come after you because of your importance. Amen. Let us turn to our Bibles and read Isaiah 43. I'll read from verse 1 
to 7. The Bible says, I'm reading from the, uh, the New King James, and the Bible says, Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 7. But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, For I have redeemed you, I have called you by your name, you are mine. Then when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. Nor shall the flames scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Verse 4 says, since you were precious in my sight. Mark that. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored. And I have loved you, therefore I will give men for you and people for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your descendants, descendants from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons after, from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Verse 7. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him, yes, I have made him. Hallelujah. What a wonderful word of God. What a precious word of God. You know, when you read these scriptures, these verses, something must stir up in your spirit. Carefully and slowly meditating on each and every verse and each and every word in these scriptures, something must stir up in your spirit and according to our topic and realize that you are important before God. When you look at verse 4, it says, Isaiah 43 verse 4 says, Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored and I have loved you. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored. That's how precious we are. Because when we looked at the word important last time, it says highly valued. God highly values you more than anything, anything else. You know, right from the creation of the earth and the heaven, right from the creation of man, you have, you are, and you will still continue to be precious and important before God. No matter what, because God has got a special purpose for you and for his kingdom. It's not by mistake, it's not by gimmicks, it's not by any agenda, but it's only by the will of God and the purpose of God concerning your life and concerning his purpose on earth and his kingdom. That's why you are very important before God, and that's why he says that you are precious in his sight. He has formed you, he has made you. He knew you, he, he told Jeremiah that he knew him before he was even formed in his mother's womb. That means that the person who formed you <laughs> made you for a purpose. You know, when you look at the world, you know, the things which are being invented, they are invented for a purpose. A car is invented for a purpose. A truck is invented for a purpose to carry goods to different destinations. A car is invented for a purpose to move you around from place A to B. The same way God has made you, <laughs> my Jesus. God has made you for a purpose, and you are important. 
As a manufacturer manufactures that car, and that car is important before us as human beings. That's how important we are before God. As human beings, we are very, very important because God has created you for a purpose. He has not made you by mistake that you just popped up just to occupy space on this planet. Child of God, that's how I want you to be encouraged and stand your head high. My God. Amen? We are, we are, we are, we are learning. I mean, I mean we, are, we are studying. But I feel I want to mix it with some, you know, some preaching. So that, you know, I feel my heart is lifted up when I read these scriptures. And I know you might feel the, way, the, the same. If you attentively, if you attentively incline your heart to these sayings of our God in heaven, to these words, to these scriptures, I believe that nothing can make you feel unworthy. Nothing can make you feel that you are not important. Nothing can make you feel that God doesn't love you. Amen? So let us continue. You know, when we look at the nations of Israel, according to the scriptures, Israel was going, I mean, had a time, the history of the, the nation of Israel was a time of floods and fires. It was a time of sufferings right from Egypt. The flood. That was the exodus, I mean, when they, they were coming out of Egypt. The fire, they, when they were in, when they were in, the, they were in Babylon, in exile. You know, here the water suggests the Red Sea, which the Lord parted for them to walk on dry ground. You know, you can check this in Exodus 14, in chapter 14, verse 21 to 22. You know. It talks about the children of Israel walking on dry ground. Likewise, the rivers, recall the Jordan River, when God parted it, in order for his important loved children to enter Cana. Because, because God had a purpose right from the creation, right from creating the nation of Israel because of his children, of his, because he loved them. That's why the whole Trinity had to come out to rescue these wonderful, precious children of God. And that's how it is even us today. Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the same God then, when he rescued the children of Israel, he's the same God today. Because he loved them, because they were important, he had a purpose for them. That's why he had to part the rivers and the, and the waters of the Red Sea so that he may go and enter the promised land. Praise the Lord. The fires, the siege of of, 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 of the, the, I mean, the band Jerusalem, 2 Kings 25, 8 to 10, you, when you read, and symbolical, and the 70 years that the people of Judah spent in Babylon. But because God loved them, as the Bible, as the, as the scriptures we have read, the fires did not hinder them to fulfill, did not hinder God to fulfill his purpose concerning them. Praise the Lord. I hope we are learning something here. And uh, it will make us, you know, re re rediscover ourselves. Even as we say last time, rediscover ourselves and know that we are important. No matter where we are or what we are going through. Amen? Perhaps, you know, you are um, is in a certain flood. Or perhaps you are in a certain fire. Or you have had it before. Or you are going through it. But let this word teach you something and show us and show you that we are, you are important and we are important before God. And no matter what, God has to fulfill his purpose concerning you and his kingdom. Our God 
When he says yes, nobody can say no. When he says no, nobody can say no. Yes. That's why is El Shaddai the most powerful? Nothing can stop him. And if nothing can stop him, what is it? The child of God, if you realize that God, you are important before him, no matter where you are, it is very important we discover ourselves, you discover yourself, and know that whatever situation you are in, whatever circumstance is around us or you, God, heaven, the whole trinity is after you because you are important in the fulfillment of the purpose of God concerning you and his kingdom. Praise the Lord. Let's look at another scripture in the book of Zechariah, chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. So we are trying to study and see the scriptures which really show how important we are before God, which exhibit the love and the importance of humanity before God. All of us, Thank God for the grace those who have, confe- who, have, who have been born again already or those who are yet, but we are all children and equally important before God. And when we shall look at the personalities of some few men in the Bible, you will see that God values, God knows you and you are precious and important before him. The book of Zechariah chapter 2 verse 8 says, For thus says the Lord of hosts, He sent me after glory to the nations which plunder you. For he who touches you touches the apple of his heart. Hallelujah. What a comparison. For he who touches you touches the apple of his eye. What else can make you proud? Like this scripture we have just read. You know, the eye is so important part of our body and so sensitive. So when the word of God compares you to the R, child of God, just know that you are very important and you are precious before our Father in heaven. He says that the one who touches you is like he has touched the apple of our Father in heaven. Amen? And verse 9 goes on to say, For surely I will shake my hand against them and shall become spoiled for their servants. Then you shall know the Lord of hosts has sent me. For surely I will shake my hand against them. Child of God, because you are important, God will not sit down. He will rise up with his mighty hand For your sake, for your case, because of your importance to fulfill his purpose. As we say, the whole trinity will rise up and shake. And take away whatever is against you. My child of let us learn today that for our importance before God, He cannot sit down to see us perish. He cannot sit down to see us, you know, going through hard times. But right there in that situation, he is there with you. He is there with me. So as we look into these scriptures, 
let us rediscover ourselves and know that for because of God's purpose and because of the importance of us, of you, to fulfill this purpose, the heavens will shake his hand. The, 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 the heaven will shake their hand. The Trinity will rise up for your sake and for your case. Amen. You know, when God says so, I mean, it is so. You know, our heart being inclined to his word will always make a difference and take us to a point whereby we realize ourselves. Because what he says is so and is so. He says that I will follow up my word to see that it performs, it fulfills that which it has been sent for. You know, this word of God is true and we have read it, we have studied it. And it only takes us to realize that this word is for you, is for me that it will make an impact in my life or in your life. That's all it matters. That's all it takes. For you to come to know that this word is for me and this word is real and God, the creator of the heaven and earth, the creator of you, has spoken. And because he knows who you are, he formed you. He knows how important you are. He knows everything inside you that he has deposited in you. So precious that he will use to fulfill his purpose. You know, just look into your house. Let's take an example in your house. You know, you, you enter this house, probably when it was empty. And then you started buying things one by one, by one, one by one. I'm telling you, almost 99%, you must know what is in that house. And you know every precious thing where it is. And it just takes a glimpse that I, this is what I want, and you get it. So that you may do what you want to do or fix something in the house, whether you need a hammer, whether you need a saw, whether a, you know, a, a screwdriver, or anything, think about it in your house. Just as an example. That's how we are in the, in, in the eyes of God. You know, he knows that I am here and I have, he has deposited me that you are there and he has deposited you something that is precious. That he knows that this son, this daughter of mine has something, has a talent, has a, you know, has a, 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 a gift I put in him that I may use at a time. Hallelujah. That he may use at your place of work. That he may use in your city. That's how precious we are, that he may use in your nation so that the purpose of his kingdom is fulfilled. For that the purpose for that city is fulfilled. So that the purpose of that family is fulfilled. It's you who is important in that part of the city or that part of the nation or that part of the house or the family or that part of community where you dwell. Hallelujah. That is how important God sees you. And he will never change. In fact, it is us who changes. Because sometimes, you know, we are facing these challenges and we say, we are not worthy, I cannot do it. But God says, Hi, you can do it, my son. When he was sending Moses to rescue the children of Israel from, from, from Egypt, Moses said, I am a stammer, I cannot talk, I cannot do anything. But he said, I am with you, I value you. You are precious, my son Moses. You came from nowhere, but I'm going to be with you to fulfill my purpose that my children are rescued from Israel. I mean from Egypt, sorry. 
Praise the Lord. So let us look at two personalities. Let us look at two personalities who make us realize that, yes, we are important. If God could use these men and these men during their days because he had deposited something important in them, that's why he went after them. Likewise, us today in our generation, God can still use us because he has made us and deposited something in us which he wants to use to fulfill his purpose, no matter what, as we looked right from the beginning. Hallelujah. When you look at the personality of Moses in the Old Testament, you know, he was a turning point when you read the book of Exodus. He was a turning point in the nation of Israel and the children of Israel. And to the wider extent, even to the whole earth. And as I said, no matter what the situation is, when you look at the personality of Moses, Moses, you know, was born, you know, in a mysterious way. And because he was important before God, God made him and knew him. He saved him through all what was happening by then. All the, the male child, all the male children were being killed and not being allowed to grow because of, you know, uh, uh, the pharaoh of Egypt. So this guy was born and saved. That's how God will go after you because of your importance, because of the purpose he has for you and me. And then he was raised up in Egypt by a princess. Egyptian first, a daughter of Pharaoh. You know, a shepherd at a time. Probably a royal ruler in Egypt. He became a leader of God's people and a prophet who received and delivered the law to Israel. And he was in Egypt for 40 years, in Midian for 40 years. And the new wilderness of Sinai for 40 years. But despite all this, God was still after him. That, he that his purpose concerning the nation of Israel, concerning the children of Israel, was fulfilled. Getting them out of Egypt. Despite him being a murderer at one time. Probably you and me who have not even come to that level. But imagine a murderer, but still God knew the importance that was in him. He loved him. He said, this is my son. I have to go after him. He left the one million or the 99 and came after Moses because there was something special and he was precious before God. Amen? Let us look at another personality as I come to a conclusion, as we close our study today, and I hope we are learning something serious here for us to be embroiled and grilled in the presence of God, knowing that we are very, very important. Look at Saul, who became Paul in the New Testament. You know, Saul... He was the Pharisee of the Pharisees. He was a, a, a persecutor of the church of God in the, in the early church. Born in Tarsus. In Tarsus. You know, when you read uh, the book of Acts, chapter 21, you will see the life of Paul. He was a tent maker to earn a living, a craftsman as his occupation. He became a teacher of law after going to live in, uh, in Jerusalem under a, a rabbi by then called Gamaliel. And he was trained in law. And this guy persecuted the church. He had all the authority. But uh, 
The importance that was hidden in him, that was what God was pursuing. Hallelujah. And probably all what he went through was a training for him to fulfill the purpose of God. And look, he became one of the most powerful, if we may say, by the grace of God. The most powerful, by the grace of God, one of the most powerful apostles. Amen? That is how important, that was something precious gift in him that made the Trinity to go after him, despite him being all what he was against the kingdom of God. Child of God, the same applies to us of today. No matter what we are going through, no matter who is pursuing us, no matter what a pandemic or endemic or whatever it is, the purpose of God is still on course. And it's you and me who God sees as very important to fulfill this, that we have to stand out and make sure that his purpose is fulfilled and we play our part as children of God. Praise the Lord. That is our God in heaven. That is our Father in heaven for us. That is our Father in heaven for you. That his will, his purpose be fulfilled. Paul became a leading Christian evangelist and theologian. Look at his background. Child of God, your background doesn't matter. Where you are at the moment, in a fire or in a flood, doesn't matter. But what matters is that which is precious in you before our Father in heaven. Praise the Lord. So, child of God, I believe that this has sunk in our spirit and we're going to continue, continue in our private time to meditate and study more and I believe God is so faithful that he will, re he, will, he will reveal himself to you through his word and you will rediscover yourself and how important you are before our Father in heaven for his kingdom, for the purpose of his kingdom and the purpose of the nations and the people of this world to be fulfilled. You have a part to play, I have a part to play and we are equally important wherever we are whatever we are doing or whatever we are going through. Child of God, do not lose hope. Be encouraged and stay on course. Let nothing distract you. And whatever situation we are in, I know surely out of that situation, something that is of importance is going to rise and it will manifest our Father in heaven. Hallelujah. God richly bless you. Thank you so much for connecting and uh, studying with us this word of God, the precious word of God, the word of life. And I know, and I know that as we continue together studying this word, our lives are not going to remain the same and God's purpose will be fulfilled on this earth. God richly bless you. Thank you so much. We hope to see you soon. And let us keep connected. We want to hear from you. Please, we want a feedback from you through our email. You can always send in any request, any feedbacks. We welcome them. And uh, please keep tuned and keep connected so that you may know of what is happening in this ministry, City Church International, through our Facebook and uh, please, we love you. God richly bless you. Thank you so much. Amen.